Venice, Vienna, uh, Venice Film Festival. Uh, it was at the same time. Uh, yeah, how to say this, this is a topic. How would you describe your film for the audience, which is gonna see it for the first time tonight? You mean how would I describe it not by telling the story? I think it's a um, it's a coming of age film. It's the the story of a young girl who's uh, in a theater school and who's very shy. She's invisible. Um, people say that she's not terribly talented, and uh, suddenly she gets cast for a um, lead role in a big theater play, and um, we see her going too far and uh, we see her struggling with herself, with uh, the director she's working with and uh, how the work on this role makes her whole life and her, her whole world kind of collapse. I've always been fascinated in theater. Um, uh, when you, when you are on a film set, um, of course there's some magic. But being in a theater in those old big buildings and then s feeling um, the atmosphere um, after a performance, when you go to the cantina, seeing actors being completely tired and they've given everything. Um, I found that always fascinating and um, a couple of years ago I heard um, the story of a young actress who tried to commit suicide after um, she had a performance on stage because she was so much in her role and she couldn't, she couldn't uh, find a way out of this role and that was kind of the impact to, to invent a story like, like we did. How did you work with the main actress, uh, Steen Fischer Christensen? Uh, she's from Denmark. I, I was in the middle of the casting process for the film. I saw many, many, many young actresses and um, I couldn't really find my Fina. And um, I, I saw her film after the wedding just by coincidence and I s thought like, wow, who's that girl? And. Um, when we asked her to come to Berlin, Stine doesn't really speak German, but she did the casting uh, in German, and um, we, of course, we took a risk uh, to to put her in this film, um, where she had to be in every scene and where she had to learn a lot of German. Um, she worked with a coach. Uh, she moved to Berlin um, three or four months before we started shooting, and we would meet very often. We would. Um, we would tell each other a lot of our private lives and uh, um, so I think this collaboration was a work of trust. Have you been anyhow inspired by Black Swan from Darren Aronofsky? Black Swan was actually released after we started shooting our film. So I didn't know about Black Swan. Um, of course, when I heard, uh, it was, I think, we shot this film last summer and Aronofsky's premiere was in Venice, uh, kind of the same time. And when we heard about this film, I was like, wow, that sounds in a way uh, similar to what we are doing here. And I have to say, I, I didn't go to the, uh, to the movie theater to watch that film. Um, I think I saw it only two months ago on an airplane and I think of course both films deal with similar topics and um, but in the end I think both films are something completely different so I'm not inspired by this film but it's funny that I do really like Aronofsky um, The Wrestler is one of my favorite movies 